subscribe to Witstube for latest tech related videos. Today I have a smartwatch with a breakthrough patented inflatable air cuff blood pressure monitoring technology. I have reviewed a ton of budget and premium smartwatches that has blood pressure monitoring but I always say in each of those videos that I would not trust the photoplethysmograph PPG technology used by most of these wearables where you still need to calibrate readings to an actual pneumatic inflatable blood pressure monitoring device. Well, finally, a brand named YHE Technology reached out to me to try out their BP Doctor Pro smartwatch, which actually has an inflatable wrist cuff, which is far better and more importantly, more comfortable than those bulky arm cuff. Plus, on top of that, it has many smart features. So let's start by briefly talking about price unboxing and then smart features, after which I'll test out the accuracy of all the sensors against medical grade monitors and wrap this video up with my final thoughts and room for improvements. So this watch is listed for $299 US dollar. The price may change at seller's discretion, so I always advise to check out the links in the video description for updated price. Inside the box, there is a quick start guide a user manual, USB-A to micro USB charging cable. I really wish there was a type C cable, so I don't need to carry an extra cable with me. There is a charging brick, which has micro USB port, which you need to carry along to be able to charge this watch. This is the wrist measurement guide tape, which they recommend to measure the corresponding buckle hole on the wristband in order to have accurate reading. So overall, the unboxing experience is on par with the price you pay. Setting up this watch is super easy, quick and simple. Just download the BP Doctor app available for free both on Apple App Store and Android Play Store. Now I have tested this watch on both my iPhone 13 mini and for this video purpose it is paired with my latest Galaxy Z Flip 4. The app is pretty user friendly with three tabs at the bottom. First one is health which is your health dashboard where you can find all your health stats. Calendar plan is where you can schedule alarm or events. Finally profile is where you can find all the important device settings notification settings, watch face options, and all the account details as well as setting goals. Overall, the app is pretty self-explanatory and very easy to navigate around. Now, in terms of specs, this watch has a bright and crisp 1.4 inch AMOLED display with 320 by 360 pixel, which is comparable to most of the premium smartwatches and it's quite bright even outdoors. The only caveat here is it's a bit small. I wish that the display would go to the full length to fill up the entire front part. For some reason this watch uses an older Bluetooth 4.2 but from my usage I did not encounter any connectivity issues. This watch runs on a colorful OS based on the free RT OS powered by a 208 MHz MediaTek chipset. This watch weighs only 83 grams with 30 mm wrist strap and this is how it looks on my 6 inch diameter wrist. Honestly, if you got smaller wrist than mine, this watch will look quite bulky. But for me, I think it looks good. Comment down below your thoughts. This watch does not have GPS, Wi-Fi, NFC. There are no third party apps or app store. In terms of battery life, this watch has 180 mAh battery cell that takes about 2 hours to fully charge with its proprietary charging brick and from my testing, this watch for me lasted about 3 days per full charge with moderate usage. This watch does not have an official IP rating so I would refrain from taking this watch near water. With all these specs aside, this watch to me seems like more of a smart fitness tracker than a smart watch. The navigation and UI of this watch is super easy to use. Just slide down to enter the quick setting. Slide up from the main watch face screen to access notifications. Swipe left to access widgets. Swipe right to access health stats. Now there are two physical buttons on the right. The top round button is to go back and turn off the screen. The bottom button is to access the menu. Now this watch does not have a built in speaker or microphone. I really wished it had one. Now at the back this watch has the charging pins with a heart rate and the SpO2 sensor. Now the bottom belt has two layers to it. The innermost layer is the inflatable cuff. 
Now the menu icon reminds me of Samsung menu icons but overall the menu is quick and easy to access. There are apps like alarm where thankfully you can set an alarm straight from the watch. Weather is where you can check the current weather. You can go in the setting to adjust display settings, alerts or even reset this watch. Now in terms of watch faces, you can click and hold the main watch face screen to access the watch face tray. If all these are not enough, you can go on to the mobile app and add more preset watch faces. I really wish there were more watch face options. Now unfortunately, you don't get any call notifications, neither you can answer or talk straight from the watch. But you do get notification from all the apps and each app is distinctly marked with its own icon. With all that done, let's start testing out the fitness sensor. Starting with the heart rate and let's compare it against the medical grade O2 ring, video of which is linked up in the card section. You can check it out once you're done watching this one. And you can see that the static heart rate testing is on par with this O2 ring. Now I have even checked the dynamic heart rate testing during my outdoor walk and the heart rate readings were pretty close to my Apple Watch Series 7. Now let's test out the blood oxygen saturation sensor against this FDA approved Check Me Pro Doctor by Value video of which is again linked up in the card section. You can check it out once you're done watching this one. And surprisingly, the readings are pretty accurate. I have been tracking my sleep with this watch since past few days and this watch does a pretty good job at detecting sleep and wake up time and also measures REM, light and deep sleep providing a sleep score. I also compared this watch against my Apple Watch Series 7 for outdoor walk and for the most part it's pretty accurate in terms of calorie burnt, distance, pace and heart rate. I have also compared this watch against the latest Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and it's on par with the heart rate. What this watch lacks are more workout options as it only has outdoor walk as well as outdoor and indoor run. This watch also measures HRV that is heart rate variability. Finally, let's talk about the elephant in the room that is the pneumatic wrist cuff blood pressure monitoring. So this watch has an actual air pump that inflates this inflatable strap which then pushes onto your arteries to cause occlusion of the blood flow in order to measure the blood pressure. It takes about a minute to inflate the cuff to its peak and the cuff deflates with a chirp sound. Now inherently the wrist arteries are narrower so they tend to be slightly higher on the readings and less accurate compared to the arm arteries. But I have compared the reading from this BP doctor watch against a medical grade blood pressure monitoring device as well as also against this Check Me Pro doctor by value and from my testing the readings are not so far apart and are pretty reliable. They are actually way better than those budget smartwatches that does not have any inflatable cuff. With all that said, here are my final thoughts. If you are someone who is looking for a smartwatch with capacity to measure pretty accurate blood pressure reading, then this is your best option in this price range. However, keep in mind this is more of a smart tracker than a smart watch as this watch lacks smart features like ability to take and make calls from the watch, no third party apps options available, lack of extensive watch face gallery, lack of functional apps like flashlight, find my phone, timer, stopwatch, etc. But despite of all that, the overall design, build quality, fitness sensor, especially that inflatable wrist cuff blood pressure monitoring are all top notch and make this watch an easy recommendation. Be sure you are subscribed as I don't want you to miss out any upcoming videos and check these videos out as you will find them helpful.